Good evening guys, let's have another edition of our ESL learning. All right, so this time we'll have uh, present simple tense. All right, I believe this is, the, f this is uh, the first tense that you should be learning. All right, so you have I'm having a hard time writing because it's very near and my eyeglasses are intended for far objects, you know. So you can imagine na <laughs> kung sa Bisaya pa, nalibat ko ba pa magsulat kuli kay doon man. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, I'm trying my best and I can still handle it. Okay, so we'll have present simple tense, alright. First, we have affirmative. Statement or what we call positive statement or positive sense. All right. So for affirmative statement, if your verb, sorry, if your subject is singular, the verb must take the S form. If your subject is plural, the verb must take the base form. Okay, example. Para mas claro para sa iyo. He takes a shower. Since your subject is he, singular, then your verb takes the S form. Okay? In the the singular subject includes he she it okay the pronouns he she it. now let's have example with a plural subject they play football since your subject is plural then the verb is in the base form all right so what is the base form what is the s form of course when you say s form that means the verb ends in s all right, so how do you form the S form of the verb? There are rules for that, and we have separate videos for that, okay? Now, what is the base form? The base form is plainly the original form of the verb, or in other words, they say, some would say it's verb one, okay? In the dictionary, if you check a word, a meaning, the, uh, the meaning of a word, you normally you see the base form of the verb it's defaulted all dictionaries are defaulted to the base form of the verb okay so what you see in the dictionaries uh, are actually verbs in the base form okay next let's have negative statement How is my handwriting? Is it readable? Okay, for the negative statement, there is a reflection of a table. Okay. Don't mind the reflection, anyway. it will just move. Okay. Can be a little bit distracted, but just listen carefully to me. For the negative statement, if your subject is singular, then you're going you're going to use doesn't and then the main verb must be in the biased form. If the subject is plural, you're going to use don't, and then the main verb is in the base form also. All right, so here's one thing that you need to remember. In any case, if you are using the do verb, do verb means do, does, did, doesn't, don't, didn't. In any case, if you are using them, whether it's in question or in a statement, the main verb must always be in the base form okay so let's see let's use another subject she this time let's use she she doesn't cook meals 
So you have the subject, the singular subject, she. Then you're going to use doesn't. And then cook is in the base form. Another example with a plural subject, we don't eat breakfast. Please don't do that. Breakfast is the most important meal. Okay, so you have we, plural subject, then you'll take don't and then the base form, eat. Okay? Is it clear? Are we clear? Is it easy? Yes, it is. It's very easy to remember. Okay. Next, let's have how to make the question. Okay. So same thing. If, I mean, for singular subject, you're going to use does, and then the main verb is also in the base form and then do for plural subject, and then still the main verb is in the base form. Example. Let me cover the... Let me put back the lead because it might uh, make my marker dry. Okay. Well, I'll be, I'll be using the red pen. Okay, are we set? Are you still with me? <laughs> Okay, so let's have an example. Does it work? Okay, you have does because your subject is its and then work in the base form. Let's have an example of uh, do. Do I have a problem so you have do because your subject is I then have base form have a problem okay it's strange to ask yourself if you have a problem or not why because if you don't know if you have a problem or not that's a very big problem <laughs> weird example but that can happen Okay, so that's how you make affirmative statement, negative statement, and question with present simple tense. I have to hurry because you can hear in my background that's azan means that's call a prayer. Okay. How do you make short answers? Okay. I also have a separate lessons for uh, use. I mean, sorry, for the rules in making short answers. There are actually things that you need to know about how to make short answers properly. Okay. Short answers. Okay. Let's do short answers with the questions that we. Uh, made okay so does it work your answer can be yes simple as that they use the subject it then yes it does all right if the answer is no no of course then you have doesn't okay for the second question do I have a problem? If your answer is yes, then you will say, okay, let's take the real point of view, then yes, you do. If the answer is no, then you'll have no, you don't. Okay, is it clear? That's how you make the short answers. Again, there is a separate lesson for proper usage of short answers. I mean, how to construct short answers properly. Okay, so that's it. Those are the different uh, things that you remember about present simple tense in affirmative statement, negative statement, question, and short answers.
Now, you know the rules or how to make this uh, affirmative statement, negative statement, question and short answers. But do you know exactly when to use present simple tense? Okay, kung maalala nyo when you were still in grade school or probably in high school, your teacher will tell you that uh, for present simple tense, it connotes now. Kung ang tinutukoy niya ay now, ibig sabihin you have to use present simple. That's a wrong... Uh, Wrong, how do I say? Maling pagtuturo sa tamang gamit ng present simple. Kasi if something is happening now, present simple is not the right tense to use. For, for anything that is happening now, present continuous or present progressive should be used. That means the M is R plus the ING. Okay, it's not the present simple tense. Okay, you only use present simple in two things. First is when you're stating a fact. Okay, for example, the sun rises in the east. You are stating a fact, you are expressing a fact, so you use the present simple. Okay, second thing is for habitual action meaning uh, if you try to state or express something that uh, regularly happens or habitually happens you need to use the present simple okay for for example in this case he takes a shower okay I mean, he takes a shower every day or he always takes a shower. You're telling a habitual action. In that case, we use the present simple, okay? Now, another thing. With present simple tense, we normally use adverbs of frequency. What are adverbs of frequency? Example, always. Adverbs of frequency tells you how often something happens or how often someone does something. Okay, uh, sometimes, never. Okay, and there are more actually adverbs of frequency. For the complete set and complete lesson about adverbs of frequency, there's also another video for that. Okay, so. Now, what is the positioning in the sentence or in a question probably? Okay, for adverbs of frequency, okay. By the way, the present simple I'm talking about is only with verbs other than the be verb, okay? Because with be verb, it has also different rules to follow. Okay, now for the positioning or where for the placement of the adverbs of frequency in your sentence. For example, in this sentence, if you want to add always, then it will be he always, always must be here before the main verb. He always takes a shower. Okay, adverbs of frequency is usually before the main verb, except the be verb, okay? Because if you have the be verb, it must be after the be verb, okay? With negative statement, it should go after the auxiliary verb and, of course, before the main verb. That means between doesn't and don't and the main verb, okay? For example, in this case, she doesn't, let's say we use usually, she doesn't usually cook meals. It's between doesn't and cook. All right, now, okay, now, sometimes is a special case, only sometimes, and actually usually, okay, sometimes and usually have two positions, the normal position, which I just mentioned, and also you can put it at the beginning of your sentence, for example, in this case, so you can say one is, he sometimes
takes a shower and that's not good okay you can also put in front of your sense so you can put here sometimes sometimes of course it will be, this will become a small letter sometimes he takes a shower okay this is only with the case of sometimes and usually all right i think everything is clear if you have further question of course we can ha we can have we can't have an interaction right now <laughs> well i'm taking this video of course but you can comment down below all right so that's it thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and share my video and subscribe to my channel and also there's a notification bell so that you will be updated with anything happening in my channel bye we got this